I'm TJ from UCT Libraries and I'm reading this extract from my favorite spot in the Chancellor Oppenheimer Library. We call it the dungeon, um, but it's really where we keep all of our um, world literatures. The next day, the prince returned. You should have come back at the same time, said the fox. If, for example, you come at four o'clock in the afternoon, I shall start feeling happy at three o'clock. At four o'clock, I shall become agitated and start worrying. I shall discover the price of happiness. But if you come at just any time, I shall never know when I should prepare my heart to greet you. One must observe certain rites. What is a right? asked the little prince. It is something which is all too often forgotten, said the fox. It is what makes one day different from other days, one hour different from other hours. For example, there is a right among my hunters. On Thursdays, they go dancing with the village girls. So Thursday is a marvelous day for me. I can take a walk as far as the vineyards. But if the hunters were to go dancing just any day, every day would be like any other day for me and I would never have a holiday. Thus it was that the little prince tamed the fox, and when the time came for his departure, the fox said, Oh, I shall cry. It is your own fault, said the little prince. I wish you no harm, but you wanted me to tame you. Yes, indeed, said the fox. But you're going to cry, said the little prince. That is so said the fox. Then it has not helped you in any way. It has helped me, said the fox, because of the color of the wheat fields. Then he added, go and have another look at the roses, and you will understand that yours is indeed unique in all the world. Then you will come back to say goodbye to me, and I shall tell you a secret as a gift. The little prince went off to look at the roses again. None of you is at all like my rose. As yet you are nothing, he said to them. Nobody has tamed you. And you have tamed no one. You are like my fox when I first encountered him. He was just a fox like a hundred thousand other foxes but I made him my friend, and now he is unique in the world. And the roses were greatly embarrassed. You are beautiful, but you are empty, he continued. One cannot die for you. To be sure, an ordinary passerby would believe that my very own rose looked just like you. But she is far more important than all of you because she is the one I have watered and it is she that I have placed under a glass dome, and it is she that I have sheltered behind a screen, and it is for her that I have killed the caterpillars, except for the two or three saved to become butterflies. And it is she I have listened to complaining or boasting or sometimes remaining silent, because she is my rose. And he went back to the fox. Goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. Now here is my secret. It is very simple. It is only with one's heart that one can see clearly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. What is essential is invisible to the eye, the little prince repeated, so as to be sure to remember. <laughs>